Hi Capricorn, welcome back to Cardelian Moon, I'm Lisa. We are here to do your weekend reading, weekend in the 23rd of June 2019. Uh, this will be a general reading for all Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. That's my puppy, sorry. Um, bear in mind because it's a general reading, energies can go one way or the other and cards are transgender. What's the other thing I needed to tell you? What was it? If you need additional clarification or um, this isn't resonating and you'd like some further insight, do, don't forget to check out your Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Uh, in your pre-shuffle, my darlings, um, I just want to tell you this first. Is You had the um, Page of Wands and the King of Cups come out. So I feel this is a message coming to you from someone, someone you may have passionately been involved with before, like in some sort of relationship before. Um, but they are very, very emotionally balanced, very, very emotionally stable, and um, they're very, very caring. They may be Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio, or they may have those placements in their charts. Um, <clears throat> but this person's quite intuitive, and I think for some of you, they know you're not, um, you're not at your full SP at the moment, or something isn't right with you, or there's a reason they're coming in and they're offering you some emotional stability. You may want to listen to what they have to say, um, because I do feel that they're, they're going to be grounding for you in some way or another. But that was in your pre-shuffle. All right, my darlings, just let you know that. Uh, to all my subbies, thank you very much for still being here and supporting me. It really, really does mean a lot to me. I'm aware I've had some new subscribers this week, so thank you very much for joining the team. Um, I love it. I just I love it. I love it. I love it. And I hope you stay for as long as possible. I really, really do. If you are new and you've never been here before, grab a chair, get comfy. Hopefully you will like what you see and you will hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Before you go. All right, my lovelies. So let's see what we've got for you, Capricorn, this week. Let's have a look. Right. Tension. Tension of foot Capricorn for some of you. And um, as my regulars will know, we have <laughs> pop out in your own reading, why don't you, Capricorn? Um this card represents um all right, addictions, temptations, things like that, obsessive or obsessive or excessive behaviour. But it is also um, ruled by Capricorn. So there you are, straight out the back in your own reading. Like I said, some of you could be going through Sank at the moment. And I feel that's why this person that was in your pre-shuffle has come forward. Um, I do feel they really want to help you and be... Oh, right, yeah, I got it. That one? So for those of you that knew, my guide sits here and sometimes he goes, that one. And I'm like, what? So, yeah, if you see me moving in there, that's just him. Just me, James, him. Got some definitely new beginning for you. Uh, a new beginning that is very enriching within your own energies. All right? Because we've got, like I said, we've got you at the beginning. I do feel, like I said, for some of you, there's probably been a little bit too much drinking or smoking or something along those lines. Um, I feel this has probably been brought on by a touch of stress. But we've got this brand new beginning starting now. Something is coming to an end now. Um, it may be a job, obviously, because it is the pentacles. But something within your life, within your day-to-day -day life, is changing now. Or starting anew. It's Because obviously the pentacles represent the physicalities of life. You know, you're, you're getting up, getting dressed, going to work. Your day-to-day -day living, not just your job. Um, also what you do, like if every Friday you do all the washing or the laundry or something like that, that's also covered by the pentacles. Maybe you're doing it on a Thursday now. Who knows? But yeah, that, so there's something new within your life now, within the, the physical being of your life. I've got a flash of the three of ones there, but it was on top of too many cards. So some of you are patiently waiting for something to transpire. Something really weird. You're going to have a bit of a false start here, okay? Like I said, here you are in all your glory, okay, at the very, very beginning of your reading. So I feel you are definitely working on yourself now, on what it is you want, before you were probably um, dealing as well with um, 
putting other people in front of you or putting your work or your career in front of yourself, which I know how ambitious you are and I wouldn't knock you for that at all. But like I said, we've got this new beginning coming in. Bear in mind though, this new beginning, it may look, start to take off and then come down with a bit of a bang. Do not worry about it. The bang is actually a blessing in disguise because instead of going from one to two or eight to two, after this karmic hit, so to speak, that may may feel like, a, oh, for fuck's sake, could anything else, like, you know, for once, can something just go right? Do you want to throw anything else at me? Don't stress about this because it really is a blessing in disguise because it takes you straight up to a three. So you skip the two. So it actually bumps you up one, even though it may not feel like it at first. And you can really start building and working on what it is that you want. I feel as well you won't be building or working on it alone. I still think it's that King of Cups. Bear in mind that King of Cups um, could be male or female because it's a general reading. But like I said, it's someone, they're probably quite fair in um, in colour, my sort of colourings, okay? And um, they are very emotionally stable. Any any um, emotional issues anyone has probably ever had in the past or anything like that, the, this person has faced them, dealt with them, bought the t-shirt, worked them out, got past them, and he's now very aligned emotionally. Very, and I do feel it's this person that's trying to help you. I really do. But I feel someone else might try and put a spanner in the works with regards to that. But it doesn't matter because it just helps helps this be closer. If you know what I mean? Okay, that one, yep. Okay, there may be a loss of money here as well. Um, you've been either or you've been too charitable or generous with someone. OK, that is coming to a close now. And there's also um, an option of traveling here, traveling distance, because we've got the world card, which is also a completion card. But something, like I said, in your life is definitely changing. I mean, this is um, this is sort of a karmic change where it's like you're not on the right path. You're not doing the right thing. So karma or not karma, but destiny, whatever you want to call it, comes in. And kicks the ass out of it so it i mean it looks really horrific it isn't it really really isn't as horrific as it looks it is a clear out though it is a proper cathartic clear out uh, mentally emotionally spiritually physically it just you know it's and it can often bring around some sort of epiphany as well when the tower card happens okay but then like i said you start working on things properly you are it actually somehow I think because it clears away all the baggage and all the shit that you've probably been dragging around, okay, because it's cleared that away, you jump, like I said, from a one to a three. So you miss a whole step out, a whole, you know, you, you have a little, it actually gives you a boost, even though it looks like a nightmare. But like I said, watch your finances and watch who you've been charitable with, because for some, to someone you have been more charitable, either physically, um, or with your time, you know, again, with the physicalities of life, maybe with your emotions, but I feel it is more with time, with work, with um, generosity, with money. Um, you've been very, very charitable. Can you stop that, my love? Very, very charitable, but that's coming to an end now. It's, it's almost, I feel like someone's been siphoning off you, and it's like, you don't get to do that anymore. And it's not... I mean, I know how generous you are and how you like providing. As Capricorns, you love providing. You're very, very generous in nature. But someone has been taking the piss out of that. And that comes to a close now. That comes to a close. Almost, I feel, with possibly some sort of emotional blackmail. Fizz, come here and stop that. But yeah, like I said, that comes to a close now. But this can also represent travel. So I feel some of you are definitely, definitely on the move. Maybe a holiday, maybe a complete change in um, residency. Complete change in residency. Residency. Put your teeth in, Lisa. Okay, let's have a look. Give me one more, please. And that one, okay. Uh, three nines. Any other nines? No. Okay, so we got we got two nines here. We've got the nine of swords, which is about um, not sleeping properly. This is about um, 
being up at night, being a little concerned about things, possibly bad dreams. But then we've got this, which is a wish fulfilled. So whatever your worries are, like I said, try not to worry. I feel this is going to clear out the worries anyway. I do feel that. And I also feel this completion is going to clear out the worries. So any worries you've got or you have had, okay, don't worry. It is going to come out as you hoped it would. So you're worrying unnecessarily. You're de and, and anyway, like I said, the universe has got your back here. The universe has your back without a shadow of a doubt. The other thing two nines mean is it means um, legal documents and stuff like that. Um, contracts, bits and pieces like that. When two nines come up, it represents that. And they did come out together. So some of you may be dealing with some sort of paperwork, legal matters at the moment and things like that. But please don't stress over it. OK, and again, I feel this is, again, connected to that King of Cups. I do. This person's got your back. And I think you're quite happy they've got your back, to be honest. I really feel they can help you put through this, really help you through this. I feel they're going to be a bit of a, 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 a stability for you because you have got you've definitely got some bumps here. What you're drinking and you're smoking, though, during these during these lows. But like I said, they're not really lows. Please try and bear in mind so that you're not having sleepless nights and bad dreams and that. They're not really lows. Yes, it looks horrific, but it really isn't as bad as it looks. It is a blessing in disguise because, like I said, actually from the one, the brand new stable beginning, okay, the brand new, literally a brand new life, a brand new physicality in life. This is the other reason why I feel you're moving, okay? This is the other reason why I feel you're moving. But these two together means someone's not able to siphon off you anymore. Or the charity you've been giving someone is coming to an end. Like I said, it could be time, um, physical. Stop it, you two. But like I said, this is a blessing in disguise. You go from this stable new beginning where you're just starting. This comes in, clears out all that excess shit that you've been lugging that you just do not need to to contend with anymore. You've been carrying a lot. I, I think you had, didn't you have, was it last week or the week before? You had the, um, the, the two demo girls. Because they just sit there a minute. Yes, just sit there a minute. Yeah, didn't you have the, um, sorry about it. It's like having two children at the moment. He's only been here a week, so it's constant at the moment, isn't it? Shit face. Yes. Um, yeah, so this comes in, like I said, I feel it clears out um, excess baggage. Things that you were holding on to that you just didn't need to hold on to anymore. Whether, again, this was like physical responsibilities, financial responsibilities, things along those lines. That's now clearing out. Like I said, because you have been too generous and you've been giving too much to someone somewhere or some people somewhere, you know, to the point where it's probably financially cost you. But again, that is coming to a completion now. And I feel with these legal documents and things like that, you're probably setting up some sort of scheme where um, where this person or these people can't siphon off you anymore either. Something along those lines. I know you're in a lady mood, but can you just give it a minute? Just give it a minute. Smell. Big bomb. You're going to be all right, Capricorn. You are going to be all right, especially as the last card is this, wish fulfilled. You know, patting yourself on the back for a job well done. You are going to be okay. So please have the faith and, and believe that you are going to be okay. Try not to worry too much. Things are going to be working out the way they should. They are going to be working out the way they should. Breathe, my lovelies, breathe. Just breathe. Look, say cute little puppy, make you feel better. Cute little terror. Uh, all right, my darlings, I am going to leave you with that. I will catch up with you again very soon. Until then, look after yourselves. Take care. Like I said, watch that smoking and that drinking or any other obsessive behaviour you've got going on at the moment. All right, and I will see you very, very soon. And Fizz says goodbye as well, don't you, Fizz? Say see ya. Bye-bye, Cappies. I know. Baby, I know. God, God, they're just so squishy. You can't help it. It's squishy little rascals. All right, my darling, speak to you soon. Bye.